Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at sorting subtotals. We've done subtotals in the past and hopefully you're familiar with that, but we'll run through it real quick. But once you've created your subtotals, sometimes you want to sort those subtotals by largest to smallest or smallest to largest, and we'll take a look at how to do that. So here we go. So here we have our data range, countries, salespeople, region, etc. Right now it's sorted by date. And I want to do a subtotal by region. So I want to sort the data by region first. Then I can subtotal the units and dollars by each region. So the first thing we'll do is click into our data range. We'll go to data and I'll click A to Z. So I'm sorting that region uh, alphabetically. Now I'm going to stay in the data group and go over to subtotal and the subtotal dialog box pops up and we'll just follow through what it asks. So we're going to say at each change in region, which is correct, use the sum function correct for units and dollars. Those are already checked there. So I'm going to say OK and now Excel has put an outline here with the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Number 3, which is currently selected, shows the full detail. Two will show the subtotal for each region and one will just show the grand total. But once we have the subtotals visible, and in fact I'm just going to put um, borders around that so it looks a little bit neater, we may want to sort these based on dollars from largest to smallest to smallest to largest. So if I click anywhere in the dollars group and I click the Z to A arrow, Notice Excel now has sorted those subtotals from largest to smallest, but did not include the grand total within that sort. I could do the same thing with units. If I click into units and I go A to Z, it'll go smallest to largest, or Z to A, largest to smallest. I can even click into the regions group and go A to Z, and Excel will sort the subtotals alphabetically by the region name. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.